This video is going to show you how to implement Nutanix alerting with ServiceNow incidents and events in four easy steps as shown on the screen. Step one is to configure Nutanix Crossplay. Go to the hamburger menu in Prism Central, select Action Gallery, and navigate to the action that says Send to ServiceNow. We clone this action and we create a new one. We input the ServiceNow instance that we have from our ServiceNow portal along with our username and our password. The second step is to create a new crossplay playbook and there are two ways to do this either a manual method or an automated method. The first manual method is to create a playbook using a trigger. I'm going to create one for a compression alert and I select the action called send to service now instance that I just created and I save this. I give it a name and a description. I have to remember to click enable under the status and save it. The second method is to import playbooks. As you can see, there are 35 playbooks now. Keep that in mind for later. On the screen, you can see the locations of where you can download the import file from our download site. Use a dash one for top 21 critical alerts and a dash two for all critical alerts. You have to type in your username and password for ServiceNow as well as for Prism Central and it will import the playbooks and give you a status on the screen while it processes. The screen shows that I imported 264 playbooks. If I add that to the 35 that I had before I did the import and I refresh, I should see the total number is now 299 playbooks just as I expect. The third step is to import ServiceNow event rules. If I navigate to event rules in ServiceNow, I'll see that there are no records to display for Nutanix. Then I navigate to update sets and I use this feature to upload an XML file that I've downloaded from the Nutanix website. When I upload this site, this file, it defines the event rules in ServiceNow for me. I have to preview the update set and I can see that it's failed, but this is actually normal. I'm experiencing 10 errors. Now what I'll need to do is go through each error and process it, telling ServiceNow that these errors are to be accepted. I can accept the remote updates. As you can see, I'm accepting each one of these errors and there are 10 of these cases. And when I am done, I can click commit to update this set and I see that I have 100% success rate. Now I'll go and check that the update set for my event rules has been created. If I search event rules and service now a second time, I'll see that they appear under Nutanix. I can see that there are three event rules, one for containers, one for nodes, and one for VMs, and that's exactly the way I want it. The fourth step is to activate the default incident rule. If I navigate to event management and navigate down to alert management, I can locate the create incident rule and where it says false, I can make mark it as true and I can click the green checkbox to accept it. Now that I've set up my incidents and my event rules, I can test the solution. I can run a stress test which will simulate workload onto a VM. And when it goes over a threshold of 80%, it will raise an alert in Prism Central. And what I wanna see is that this alert is going to be pushed to service now using the playbook I created. So if I go into the playbooks, I can see that there is this VM and there's a play 
that was successfully sent to ServiceNow. When I log into ServiceNow, I can also see that this event has been created. I can see the data that was pushed from Crossplay in Nutanix. I can even look at the alert ID. I can show the dependency map of all the configuration items in the solution. When I copy the incident and I paste it into the search, I can also locate that incident. I can start to manage that incident. Thank you very much for listening to this video. This is Paul Harb from Nutanix and good luck setting up Nutanix alert integration with ServiceNow.